Welcome to my new Maya for Beginners tutorial. And the first thing I want to do, where I want to start, is making sure that you can never lose your work. Maya has been known to crash, especially if your computer is a bit on the weaker side. So we want to make sure that that can't happen to you. And we're going to do that by setting up undos, auto save, and also incremental saving. So this is the default Maya workspace. You can see I've just opened it up, it's brand new. I've got this little prompt here telling me what's new. If you want to, you can turn this off. Um, I don't want to show it at startup, but I do like to see what's highlighted for no particular reason. So we'll click on OK to get rid of that. And the first thing I'm going to do is show you where the settings are and how to turn on infinite undos. So we're going to go to Windows. And then within that menu, you can go to settings, preferences, and then preferences. That opens up the settings window, and there are a lot of settings in Maya. They're separated into categories down the left hand side, and we can choose the ones that we need to see. So the first one we'll do is undo. You can see there's an undo section on the left hand side, and you can see that undo is turned on. And by default, in a lot of versions, it's set to finite and with only 50. If that's the case for you, make sure you have it on infinite, which means that you can go to edit, undo, which is there, or you can press control and Z as many times as you want from when you opened Maya and you'll always be able to go back. That's the first thing we want to do. Next, what I want to do is turn auto save on which means that we can set a period of time, let's say every 10 minutes, which is the default, and Maya will just save our work, which means if something happens like a crash, we will only ever lose nine minutes and 59 seconds worth of work, which is good. So in order to do that, we need to stay in the preferences window. We're gonna to go to files and projects, and there's an auto save section here, and what we need to do is just click on enable, and that's it. You can change the interval if you want. So I'm just gonna leave it at 10 minutes. I find that to be really good. And that's the first half of the auto save strategy that I want you to implement. So we'll click on save for that. Now what we're gonna do is turn on incremental saving, which will increment your save. So instead of just saving the same file, so if we had something called scene, uh, it wouldn't just keep saving scene over the top of scene. Every time you save it would save scene, then scene one, scene two, scene three, scene four, which is really good because it means that you're not at risk of losing that file if Maya crashes when it's rewriting, when it's resaving. It will only ever lose the, the newest one, which again, it's about just protecting you from losing any work. So in order to set that up, we need to go to file, save scene. We'll click on this little box here. In Maya, in the menus, a lot of uh, options in the menu have these little boxes. And that means there's some additional settings we can get to. So if we click on that, you'll see that we get this save scene options and we just need to tick the box for incremental save. If you want to, you can limit the number. I never do. I like to have the whole sort of history of something I've worked on. And then what I will do is just click on save scene and that will just make sure that that setting is saved. I've already saved this one since I've been warming up for this. It might ask you to just give the scene a name, which you just need to do and then click on save. Okay, that's it then. For this first step, the real super important thing that I always show everybody to do first of all. Now we've got that under our belt, in the next step we're going to move on to a bit of a tour of the Maya interface. I will see you there. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.